morning guys. My name is the old mechanic. And what do we got here in my shed today? A Triumph Tiger XRX 800. A very nice bike. I really love the high quality of it. The way it's, it's made is really nice. Triumph did a really good job. I like the, the, the model, the way it looks. What are we gonna do today? Well, today we're gonna put on a new chain and sprockets. So I would say, come on over and we start. First thing that I'm gonna do is make a picture how this was original mounted because I want to put it exactly on the way it was. Okay. So we're gonna unscrew this little bolt. the bolt all the way out and take this one off and see where I can put it I think over here the next thing over there is a bolt and over there is a bolt for that cover Hop. the same length then, hop. Uh, then guys we have this nut tightened with 85 newton meters so we have to take my air gun and get it off first there is a locking washer see over there locking thing so we take a screwdriver and a hammer and we start carefully first see we have to mm, wait a minute maybe maybe to well, yeah this would be hey shit <laughs> so carefully just bit by bit yes then I have this one and we okay yes now guys before we gonna use my uh, power tool I'm gonna get it out of the first gear because otherwise you're hammering against the sprockets that are in gearbox and there's a lot of hammering force I don't want to have that so easy we're gonna place this one back again hop yes out of gear we take my air gun. This is socket 36. Up, up, up. Easy as Dell. Maybe you could do it just by blocking the rear wheel with the rear brake. Could be. Not sure. Then we take this one off and it's a cushion drive which is good 
it's um, a rubber inlay so whenever you put it in gear or change gears it damps the forces a bit that's the idea behind it now mm, we go on this one there we're gonna take the chain guard away just two Allen bolts it's Allen 5 hop. Come. Hop. The two nice bolts over here is also a bolt Then we take this wonderful chain guard out of the way. Then we going to crack these sprocket nuts. Also easy. Just hold your wheel. Now, wait a minute. I think. Again, I have to put it in gear. <laughs> okay. So now we can hop. Okay, this one. This one. Actually, it's easy. A few tools. Hop. This one. Up. Okay. Now, then, put it in neutral. Now guys, this one I'm gonna keep a bit tight so it doesn't fall off. The, the leftover nuts I'm going to remove. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Screw this one out. I'm gonna put it back with Loctite. And put it in neutral again. Strange, ah. but no problem. Oh. This one, the last one. Hmm. Strange, yeah. Yeah. 
fall off. Now, mm, then we gonna loosen the rear axle. Yep, a 27. Okay, yes, then take my ratchet, okay, and a washer. Okay, I think this is 12, yep, I really like doing this, it's, it's a nice job, okay, then we unlock the other side, that's also uh, very easy, yes, Now guys, with my uh, angle grinder, I'm gonna take one um, um, link out. I have a, a, a wet towel, I have my uh, fire extinguisher, you never know, eh? always works safe. So, got my angle grinder. This one. This one. So. Always, what I always do when replacing the grinding uh, thing, always have it out of the socket. Because you never know with tighten it that you push the machine on. Okay, over here is a, a button you have to push to lock the machine. Okay, now it's good. Then use safety goggles. Okay, ear protection. Okay, check. Then up, up, up. There we can take this one out, this one out, out of the way, this one also not out of the way. Now, now we're gonna push the pins out, and then we have the chain uh, loose. That's also easy. I have my tool. Okay, then this one out, then let's see, this one over here, put it onto that link, see, it's over there, and let's screw this one out, it's easier. Ok, 
Okay. Now let's have a look. Then we start to pushing it. I think there he goes. Yes. So now, see, this one is out. Now we're gonna do his brother. Lower it a bit so you can see it better. Okay. It's a bit difficult to see sometimes where that pin is, but it always. Kijk, I see it. Needs to be a bit over there. Come up. Now, now. That way makes in. Yeah, there it goes. Most of the time it finds its way. See, here it is. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got it off. Ta -da. We take that link out. Oh. And then we roll the chain. Bye bye, Jane. Now guys, the next thing we're gonna do, take the wheel out. It's that easy, oh, so easy. First, screw this one, one or two, three, four, five, onto it. Guys, the next thing, uh, before we take the wheel out, we're gonna remove the caliper. That's also very easy. First, we're gonna get the ABS sensor out of the way. I don't want to damage it. There is a washer falling down. Pop with this very special, nice tiny bracket. See, take this one out, and for now, we hang it over there out of the way. Then, these two bolts this is 12. Pop. Okay. This boy is 14. Oh. Now, okay. Yes. One. Oh. Then carefully take. Okay. Now was easy, huh? On the other side, I'm gonna tap the axle to get it out. Very easy. Yeah. My rubber mallet. I'm gonna lift the tire with my knee a tiny bit. See that he already comes. Screw the nut off. Give it a quick. So. This side 
we have this thing. Easy as that. This side. Now, I'm going to lift the top bit up. And we got the axle out. Then, lower. Then, we can take this guiding. Yeah, out of the way. Over here is a bushing. And on the other side is one, two. Now got the wheel out. Very easy, yeah. We roll the wheel out. We put it over here. The next thing we're gonna do. That final bolt. Nut. Hey, this one also comes out. Hmm. Hmm. See. Hmm. Hey guys. Then we got the sprocket off. Now, first thing we're gonna do it's a red Loctite, which means high strength. We're gonna put these in. And to be sure I can screw them in, I found two nuts. One like this and one like that. Okay, then we're gonna block them to each other. Easy. Loctite high strength. Okay, and then I'm gonna. Ooh, uh, huh. Loctite on. No, this baby stays in. Then. Okay. Not two. Okay. Up. Hmm. Just a bit. Then wait a minute. This one. Enough. This is aluminium. Oh, this is tight enough. And with the green Loctite, whoa, it's gonna sit forever. You have to warm it up to get it out. That's one. Then we're gonna take his brother. Okay. First, I'm going to take that nut off, and with this one, we're going to do the same. First, screw my first nut on, just like there, not too far, otherwise it goes to that edge. The nut is a bit big, big. Hop. Then, I'm going to squeeze it. Whoa, whoa. Hop, hop, hop. Whoop. It's really like water. So. OK. 
Okay. Screw it in. Come on. Ooh, I think it was a bit too much, but. Okay, enough. Otherwise, you strip the thread. And we don't want. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. So. That's great. Oh, the other way. The other way. Then it goes. Tight out of the way. 